I'm Ryu Sasaki, an ordinary college sophomore. However, my family is ordinary. Oh, hey, Shizuku. Stop calling me by my name. That's all she said before she quickly left for school. She is Shizuku Sasaki. She is a cute girl who is apparently popular at school due to our parents marrying each other. She became my sister since last year, but it has been a rather awkward living together. Now that we are family, I want to be on good terms with her, but it appears that she doesn't think so. <sighs> right then, my stepmom coming rush into the living room. Oh, you good morning. Today I'll be coming home late, so you two eat dinner together, all right? Okay, leave it up to me. I grew up without a mother, so I'm good at cooking. She seemed to be relieved when I said so, and she left the house in hurry. I'm still not used to living with you, my family, but it definitely is more fun living with more people. I was feeling my heart warm while I ate breakfast alone. What are such days? My studies at the lab was so interesting. I'm a little late. I have to make a dinner for Shizuku. I was looking at the sunset while walking through the neighborhood when I heard a young woman laughing out loud. She must be going to the same school as Shizuku. It doesn't seem like they are good friends. Two girls were standing in front of Shizuku. Shizuku looked upset. So, you got a fading score in the last test? How can you be so dumb even though your mom is a professor at uni? Is she really a mother? Hey, what did you just say? You. She was saying really horrible things. I interrupted her without even thinking. Who is this nerd? Is he a boyfriend? That's actually a perfect match for you, Shizuku. <laughs> no, he isn't. Stop trying to hide it. Anyways, we have to go to cram school to study for our university entrance exam. See you. They were laughing at Shizuku while walking away. Shizuku was clenching her fist. She looked like she was holding her emotions. Um, Shizuku? I want to go to the same college as you do. I mean, I'm going to. Hmm, I thought you're going to start working after high school. That used to be my plan, but I can't allow them to mock me like that. I have to prove that I'm my mom's child. Is that so? Well, I think she'll be happy to hear that you want to continue your studies. Do you think I can make it in time? Hmm. It depends on you, Shizuku. You won't have any time to spend with your friends anymore. I know. If that's the case, let's talk to Dad about cram school when we get home. Please teach me, Ryu. Huh? Even if I start going to cram school, everyone will be on a different level. I want to start from the basics. Would you not want to help me? Of course, I'm going to help you. Let's get this done together. Yes. That was the first time I saw Shizuku smile. She was so cute. I made up my mind to do anything I could for her. Since then, I used all my free time for Shizuku. I gave her problems to solve. I taught her how to study every day. Shizuku stopped hanging out with her friends, and she never complained studying until late at night. Shizuku, here is supper for you. You need nutrition to keep your brain working. Thank you as usual. No problem. Do you have any way you can't understand? Not at the moment. Shizuku was sipping on her coffee while looking at me with a confused expression on her face. Um, I know that I'm the one who asked you for this, but why are you doing all of this for me? I know that you're also busy with all the homework and research for college. Yes, I am. But no brother in the world doesn't help out his sister who is putting in the work. Oh. Shizuku's face turned red. She looked down embarrassingly and quickly said, "Whatever happens, I'm going to pass the entrance exam and shut them up for once. I'm also going to stop them making fun of you." Yes, I felt that was the first time she acknowledged me as her brother. I couldn't help but put a smile on my face. A few days went by as the exam got closer. Shizuka appeared to be getting more tired. She was about to lose her balance while walking down the corridor. I called out. Shizuku, you should call it a day. You aren't looking great. Sure, but I don't want to feel like a loser. Oh. Shizuku. Shizuku fell over. I tried to stop her from falling, but I didn't have enough muscle to do that. Therefore, she fell on top of me. Ouch. Are you fine, Shizuku? Oh, it is. It is this? Her mini skirt was disheveled. And there was a pair of nicely shaped assets right in front of my eyes. Oh, what am I looking at? She's my sister. Shizuku, are you able to get up? I kept my composure and asked her if she was all right. Yes, sorry, I got dizzy. You must be really tired. 
You need some rest. Resting is also very important. You're right. I'll do so. I didn't look at her face when I walked away. Behind me, she was blushing a little bit. While things like that were happening, Shizuku continued to get better scores. She made it into the top five of her grade. And finally, today is a big day. After finishing what I had to do at the lab, I went over the venue where the results were being announced. Right when I got there, Shizuku found me and ran over to me. Ryu! Shizuku? How was it? I got in! I passed the exam! Wow! Well done! It's all thanks to you, Ryu! Oh! Shizuku gave me a hug and held me tight. When Shizuku let me go, I realized that the two girls from before were standing at us. How could you have passed? Even though I failed, you must have cheated! No, I didn't! All I needed was one good tutor. What? Do you mean that nerd standing beside you? Stop calling him a nerd! Right when Shizuku was about to say something, I feel somebody put their arm around my shoulders. It was my friend, Tanaka. What's up, Ryu? Is that your girlfriend beside you? You're a lucky man. No, she's just a cute little sister of mine. Huh, did she pass the exam? Wow, that's what you get for the sister of the valedictorian. What? Valedictorian? This nerd right here? <laughs> he might not have a flashy looks, but this guy is super smart. His thesis has gained a lot of attention in the academic world, even got offered from the MIT to invite him as a principal investigator in his field. No way, which means this guy is also... Exactly, the guy you were making fun of is also a student here. Thanks to him providing me with tips, I was able to get in too. Don't you agree? That is the best brother ever? No way! Shizuku's classmate was speechless. Shizuku left her standing there. She pulled my arm and started walking. Hey, why don't you show me around all the facilities? Oh, alright. Do you want to check my lab out? Oh, I'll come along too. Can you introduce me to your sister? Hmm, I don't know if I want to introduce any guy friends to her. Shizuku was laughing at me, hesitating. I smiled at her and said, Shizuku, enjoy your student life. <laughs> yes! Shizuku never looked as happy as she did like that. A few months have passed, and now we are both students at the same university. Shizuku, over here! As usual, we were about to go and eat lunch together while some girls from my lab were looking upset. You're eating lunch with Shizuku-chan again? Why don't you join us for once in a while? You see, she still isn't used to college. I have to take care of her. I know. By the way, I like how you're so kind of people. Huh? L like Hmm, so that's the type of girl you like, huh? Huh, <gasps> since when we're standing there. By the way, you, you're way more popular than I thought you were. I always hear girls talking about you when I'm with you. You must be enjoying your campus life. Being so popular, aren't you? Huh, why are you angry? You never know, but at least you're my brother. Uh, yep, indeed. Since then, Shizuku began to spend even more time with me. We were always together, and she began to smile more often than she used to be, and that made me happy too.